this design I call Claw Wounds, and it's a big favorite with the boys. And even girls, actually. Okay, so I'm going to load a little bit of Star Blends on. And even wipe it off on my towel because I don't want too much. I just want it to barely color the skin. Okay, and I usually ask them which direction they want to go, where they want their claw wound, whether they want it on their cheek or across their eye. But I personally try to choose the part side and then go away. I used to go interior, but I had I started having problems with the brush up against the nose, and then the design looked a little warped. So I started doing it outward like this. And another thing that I changed from doing this originally is I used to do a line up the middle and then did the stroke right on top of it, but now I actually put um, a double line and then put the stroke in between, and I'll show you that in just a second. So let me show you how quick this is. So I load the star brands, wipe it off on the towel, and I just barely use the end of the applicator, and I skip the actual eye part, I just ended the eyebrow. But see how I'm kind of making a channel? So I'm technically, I've got one, two, three going, so I'm going to do four claw wounds. And then I'll take the back of the applicator and blend it into their skin. Oops, got a little bit too much on that one. <laughs> okay, but this just helps it sink into their skin and be more effective. So then I take a nice long soft brush. This one happens to be a floor around 7430. And I'm going to load Paradise Red as my favorite red for this. It's a nice dark red. So I load it super well so I can do all four without having to reload. So it's kind of like blossoms where you need to have a good load. Okay. And then I load one side of the brush with black, just until I can see the black start to poke through. And then I start thin and I squish my brush and twist it a little bit, come back down here, come down. And this is really one of my fun, quick designs because it looks so real especially on the skin. This paper is absorbing quite a bit of the paint, but usually I can get all four marks in. And then I like to go back in and make sure that it's nice and clean. Make sure that it's... Here, I need a little bit more water. Make sure that it's got nice sharp points on it. Okay. So that's a good stopping place, so about two minutes, and actually I think it's more like a minute and a half. I was just having trouble with the water control. So if you want to, you can take a light colored brush, grab some flush color. I used to do it in white, but it was a little bit too harsh. So in the parts that are red, I just add some maybe some little, uh, little gristle, is what I call it when I talk to them. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put some gristle in your wounds. It looks like stuff's hanging out of it. But it just kind of helps sell that whole thing. And so that's about 2 minutes 40 seconds. You can come back in and raise the bump even further with a little bit of that same color around the wounds. And it will kind of give it more of an even more raised effect on it. So just a little bit. Don't spend too much time on this. Not time to be precious. But it just helps sell the depth even more. So 3 minutes and 13 seconds. I would cut off a few seconds off of that. I would say that's a 3 minute design. But for the sake of argument, we'll go with 3 minutes and 13 seconds.